I think before too long, it'll be blindingly obvious to those in the um, digital world, digital construction world, that what we leave behind is digitally is as important as what we leave behind physically. It's absolutely vital to have a clear technology strategy from the beginning of the project, that you set out from the beginning uh, the, the framework under which uh, the project is going to be created digitally as well as physically. I think one of the key changes is to involve the operator um, user of the asset much earlier on. And I think BIM uh, is a key to helping that to happen. Now BIM, Building Information uh, Modelling, is a useful vehicle in getting that collaborative thinking, in getting that whole life thinking, and in getting uh, a user to be able to really envisage or, or understand what the asset's going to be before um, any spade goes in the ground. In BIM, we're delivering uh, a, a live operating model that can be started right at the beginning of the process and, if you like, becomes a legacy throughout the project. So the, the digital model is passed on from one stage to the other seamlessly without the need for rework, without the need for new learning curves, without the need for significant change. And that becomes uh, the key deliverable that, that is effectively being added to as you go through and further developed as you go through the process. The real benefit is with the user that's, who's going to have uh, a digital model of this thing that's been built that he can then he or she can then use um, for managing the life of the asset. The term BIM doesn't matter at all. What we're talking about is the use of digital technology in design, construction, and whole life asset management. I think digital technology has a really important role to play in off-site manufacturing and construction. Um, to me, the benefits of off-site construction are very clear. It's all about getting greater precision and quality. It's about better productivity. You're building things uh, under factory conditions. And then, of course, uh, when the pieces are delivered to site, uh, we find that they fit. Um, we get much better performance of our final assets, um, which again has been, historically has been a problem in construction, that we get a performance gap between what's designed and what's actually constructed. So if we're building with better precision and quality, we can reduce that performance gap. Um, I have absolutely no doubt that off-site manufacturing construction is the future. I think we're going to move away from initial costing into whole life costing and indeed whole life carbon accounting for our assets. We're now developing level 3 BIM and level 3 is going to be focused on whole life costing, whole life carbon costing and whole life procurement and I think that will be very exciting indeed. One of the barriers to the exciting future um, that will be brought about by digital technology is clienting skills. I think this is about um, having clients that can very concisely articulate what their requirements are without being too prescriptive about how they're going to be delivered because we want the creativity to come through from the supply chain. I think another barrier is our existing contracts. Um, we have some very collaborative forms of contract, uh, but nevertheless, they still result in a disjointed supply chain. We need to find ways of joining that up. 
uh, making a much smoother process, more collaborative process uh, in passing digital information from one party to another. So I think the uh, contracts that we need for the future uh, may be somewhat different from the contracts that we have today. Construction 2025 has the people strand at the heart of the strategy. Uh, we make no excuses for that. Who knows what skills are going to be required in 20, in 25 years' time, perhaps even in 15 years' time. Uh, we do know that we're going to need um, technology skills. Um, the STEM subjects are still vitally important for construction, perhaps more so than they've ever been. Um, but actually we're going to need uh, different skills. Uh, one of the chief executives of one of the contracting organisations that I spoke to only in the last couple of weeks, he's saying we need people with these top-end uh, IT and um, creative, uh, digital creative skills. And uh, so I think, I think the skills in the industry will change quite considerably. What would I say to individuals who feel uncertain about the future? Uh, I would point them to people that are already um, seeing the benefits and, uh, and, and recognising that this is, this, is, this is not a threat. Um, uh, this is actually going to help them and it's going to make their life easier. I think the whole industry has a real job to do in communicating more about what we're doing. We can improve our image. I think that's the key. The Olympics is a fantastic example of how the construction industry raised its reputation with the public. I think there's another area actually as well. I think as the industry becomes smarter, I think we start to attract um, the next generation into our industry kids that like playing with um, computer games and things. You know, construction becomes um, smart. Construction becomes fun, uh, in a sense. Um, and I think that actually helps improving our image uh, with, um, with school children, uh, with teachers, with parents, with the general public. So, um, digital technology has a key role to play in the transformation of the industry, which is vital for the future.